into Africa every year. Like birds migrating south, a few hundred men take to the air and fly in the spirit of the first aviators for the pleasure of living dangerously. skiing on a canal, one of the most illegal and dangerous forms of flying, introduced to the Sudan by a New Zealander, Max Lacey. A stately country house in the heart of Kenya, home to Tony Abercrombie Dick, an Englishman in the classic mould, reserved almost to the point of coldness, but with a passion for dangerous flying. Okay, fine. Okay. On the border of guerrilla territory, a Red Cross plane is being prepared to fly out wounded victims of a civil war. The pilot is Paddy Mackay. These men share a love of low flying. They are agricultural pilots, ag pilots as they call themselves, and this, for them, is the last frontier of real physical flying. Tony Abercrombie Dick runs a one-man crop spraying outfit. His task here is to set up a base camp and clear a runway for his next assignment. He first came here in the 50s when Kenya was a country to be avoided, a violent place 